Um, good morning. Good morning. Kahit gabi na pala. <laughs> so, ako nga pala si James R. Potente, isang registered social worker. And ako yung instructor nyo sa um, Psychology 111. Okay, so... Um, by the way, ano yung psychology? Mapapatanong ka siguro, why there's a need for us to study psychology? Okay, so, paano ba siya napunta sa akad- akadim? Sa school of thought natin ngayon, sa pinag-aaralan natin. Kasi nga, um, human as we are, no, we have behavior, we have actions, and oftentimes, no, yun yung mga behavior na yan, no, oftentimes na judge natin yung tao, nakikilala natin yung tao dyan. So, the Greek word of psych means soul, and it is often represented as butterfly. So, actually, this soul creates everything, creates our being, our behavior, everything on us. Nakikilala mo yung tao sa soul niya, sa actions niya, kung sino siya. And what I believe is that psychology will help us all the more to know a person. And not just a person, but also ourselves. Okay, so the word psychology was coined at a time when concepts of soul and mind were not as clearly distinguished. Kasi before kasi, um... Yung concept kasi before, so lang yung naisip nila. Yung may human and may kaluluwa. But then, time goes by, no, lulumalim yung understanding natin kung sino tayo, ano yung soul na sinasabi dito, behavior, what we thought as mind and what we act. So, the root ology means just to study. Na studying of, that's ology, lahat ng may ology. And psych means, sabi natin, means soul and of course mind psychology refers to uh, mind or the study of mind and even soul so since science studies only observable phenomena and the mind is directly observable it's not really ob- observable we expand this definition to the scientific study of mind and behavior yun yung ngayon sabi ko kasi nga diba our thoughts cannot be defined hindi natin malalaman yung pag-iisip ng isang tao sa pagtingin lang sa kanya. So, by doing that, no, by um, having that kind of concept, kailangan natin ang hirap na hindi mo makilala yung isang tao. So, hanggang sa umabot na po yung um, psychology sa human behavior. Meron tayong concept sa social work is that HBSE. Okay, HBSE. So, yung meaning dyan is human behavior and social environment. So, yung human behavior dyan, yan yung psychology aspects and yung social environment yan yung um, society aspects okay and here no so an empirical method for acquiring knowledge is based on the observation including experimentation rather than method based only in forms of logical argument of previous authority so itong psychology talaga since it has become a school of thought no we use empirical method in assessing our observation regarding our behavior, what our thoughts, mind, souls, feelings, emotions. Example, no, paano mo malalaman na yung isang tao mahilig sa ice cream? For example lang, no, hindi mo siya makikisakit pagkikita mo lang sa kanya. And you, you cannot, unless you can read someone's mind, okay? But then, in terms of his behavior, no, by measuring his behavior, by observing it, experimentation, you can see. No, example, palagi siyang bumibili ng ice cream, no? And by interval or by experimentation, baka naglalawa siya sa ice cream. Okay, by just doing that, no, we can say that at some point, no, we knew that the behavior of that person do like ice cream. So, parang yan yung psychology. We are analyzing a person, no, a person's individuality, a person's psych or a person's soul by his actions. Di ba nga, meron tayong kasabihan, di ba na? You will know a person by his actions. Yan na yun. You will know a person by his behavior. Okay? So, ano yung history ng psychology? So, uh, William uh, Wilhelm Wundt, no, a German scientist, no, who was first person to refer to us as psychology. So, siya yung first na tao na no, tawagin na, kumbaga tawagin natin psychology. So, his famous, famous book entitled Principles of Physiological Psychology was published on 1873. So, one viewed psychology as scientific study of conscious experiences. And he believed that the goal of psychology was to identify components of consciousness and how those components combine to the result in our conscious experience. So, 
yung consciousness natin, yung, yung mga, anyway, we are talking here about consciousness natin, yung mga bagay na ginagawa natin, na alam natin, that we are conscious with. So, one use introspection, he called it internal, uh, intro means internal or papasok, di ba, pag may kanta intro, intro muna tayo, di ba, yan yung intro, papasok na perception ng isang tao. Okay? So, a process by which someone examines their own conscious experience as objectively as possible, making human-like in the aspect of nature observed. So, malalaman natin yung um, aspect ng isang tao kung kilalanin natin siya personally. At dapat mo rin niya gawin sa sarili mo by knowing who you are personally, by just ano yung mga motives mo, motivation, your feelings, something, behavior, and the like. Now, this attempt to understand the structure or characteristic of mind was known as structuralism. No, so meaning yun structure ng mind mo, di ba? Sabi natin structure ng mind, structural, meaning pangloob siya. Kung baga kung sa structure pa ng building, there is a blueprint there. No, that's structure. So saan ba yung blueprint? Of course sa loob. Okay? So structuralism pala yan tawag diyan. Okay? So meron din dito ang isang um psychologist si James and functionalism so William James was the first American psychologist who spouse a different perspective on how psychology should operate so James introduced a Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection and accepted it as an example explanation of organisms characteristics so sabi ni James no purpose to study function of behavior in the world and such his perspective was known as functionalism meaning lahat daw lahat daw ng behavior natin, function of behavior in the world, no, meron siyang function at some point. So, yun yung naisip niya. And came from yan daw sa evolution theory ni Darwin. Okay? And meron dito yung Freud. Ito yung Freud and psychoanalytic theory. So, perhaps the most influential talaga, if, if mapapalalim yung perspective natin sa psychology, si Freud talaga yung kumbaga pinaka-famous at some point. No? So, pre, history was Sigmund Freud Uh, most an Australian neurologist no, about neurons ha, neurons, okay um, who was fascinated by patients suffering from hysteria or neurosis okay, so hysteria was an um, ancient diagnosis for disorders, primarily women with wide variety of symptoms including physical symptoms and emotional disorders, so tignan natin to, dito pa lang malalaman na natin yung how Freud view psychology, so it's all about physical symptoms, okay and emotional disturbance and also disorders primarily women so si Freud no more on physical siya kasi at some point kasi si Freud is a physician no he is a neurologist so related pa rin yung physical aspects niya nasa emotion at saka din yung disorders so hindi lang siya yung kumbaga about mind soul um, related din kang Freud yung physical symptoms okay Now, Freud theorized that many of his patients' problem arose from unconscious mind. So, we already talk unconscious mind sa structuralism natin, uh, yung mga conscious pala rather. Sa um, structuralism, yung conscious mind, yung mga bagay na alam mo, conscious ka. Well, si Freud, according daw ka Freud daw, yung mga problema daw natin sa behavior, everything, actions natin, nanggaling daw sa mga unconscious mindset natin. So, yung mga bagay na hindi pa natin alam. So, yung concept dyan kang Freud, para siyang iceberg. No? Yung iceberg, yung binanggaan ng Titanic, rather. Yung malaking ice sa dagat. Okay? Di ba? Yung iceberg na yan, mali, maliit lang yung nakikita natin often time sa surface. Pero sa ilalim niyan, malaking ice pala. Okay? Malaking iceberg. So, yan yung unconscious mind, yung mga bagay sa mind mo na hindi mo napapansin. Okay? So, psych psychoanalytic theory focuses on the role of persons unconscious as well as early childhood experiences. And this perspective dominated clinical psychology for several decades. So, sabi din ni Freud dito, it's related din sa yung mga behavior natin ngayon sa child experience. Example dito, maybe childhood ka, sinaktan ka. Kaya yung magiging, baka magiging resulta sa'yo, mananakit ka rin pag laki mo. And it, it, it rooted from your childhood experiences. So, Diyan yun yun related yung bakit siya naging unconscious sir eh, child, naging childhood mo siya. So, yung uh, pagiging childhood mo dyan, naging unconscious kasi bata ka pa nun, na-experience mo yun, baka at some point nakakalimutan muna siya. Kaya sa pasok sa unconsciousness ng isang tao yung childhood experiences. Okay? So, meron din tayo dito si um, Wirtimer Kofka, Kofka rather, Color and Gestalt Psychology. 
So, yung idea nila dito, yung gestalt psychology, yun yung as a whole. Meaning daw, no? gestalt psychology deals with the fact that all those sensory experiences can be broken down into um, individual parts. So, yung sensory experience, if it says that broken can be broken down, it says structuralism. Meaning, we broke something through structure hanggang malaman natin. Parang kuan ba? Nagsusolve tayo ng algebra something, binobroke natin yung formula para malaman natin yung ano yung answer natin siya. Anyway, not, I'm not a math by. So, parang ganun. Binobroke mo siya in three structures para maintindihan mo how those parts relate. So, iba yung, while sinasabi ng structuralism, kailangan mo na i-divide yung other parts para maintindihan mo, mayroong i-dissect mo in three structure. Iba yung gestalt. Kasi meaning kasi ng gestalt, it is a German, no, German word meaning as a whole. Meaning, maintindihan mo doon yung isang tao pag nalaman mo siya, holy. Okay? So, you will know a person. Parang ganun ba? You will know a person, no? Not just by um, one thing, but by other thing or as a whole. Okay? So, hindi judgmental yung, uh, by the way, yung gestalt. Gusto ko yung idea ng gestalt. Okay? Uh, meron din dito si Pavlov, Watson and Skinner and Behaviorism. Sabi nila dito, Early work of the field behavior was conducted by Russian um, Ivan Fablov. Fablov studied um, a form of learning behavior called condition reflex in which animal of hum or human produce a reflex or unconscious response as stimulus and over time was conditions to produce a response. So sabi daw dito daw, yung behavior din natin na impose meaning uh, pag yan yung nangyayari sa'yo, no? Posible kang magkamera ng behavior dyan. So, at some point din, pwede mo rin natin sabihin dito, no, na at some point yung behavior na ituturo. Okay? At some point din, hindi lang na ituturo yung behavior, na observahan natin. Okay? Yan yung idea ng behaviorism. Okay? And, of course, John B. Watson was in, meron nito, John B. Watson was influential American psychologist. So, Watson, um, okay, behaviorism din si Watson, no, aside kang Pavlov, So, sabi dito ni Wabs, ang um, behaviorism ni um, ni Koa, ni um, Watson. So, sabi dito, um, he directly focus on observable behavior. Sabi niya, nakapokus lang kasi si Watson sa mga behavior na naobserbahan lang. Sabi, sabi dito ni, ng behaviorism ni Watson, na kung ano yung naobserbahan na sa'yo, yan ka. Hindi yung mga nakatago. Kung yan yung napapalabas mo sa sarili mo, yan ka. And try to bring behavior under control. And yan yung, yung napapalabas mong behavior, yung um, nang, nagagawa mo. Um, Watson tried there to explain na dapat niyang kontrolin. Kasi nga, di ba? Yung nilalabas mo lang, yung nakakontrol mo. Okay? Parang ganun yun. So, Watson was a major proponent of shifting focus. So, sabi din ni Watson, yung mga nalalabas mong behavior, no, yung naoobserbahan. Kaya nga naoobserbahan natin kasi nalalabas mo yan. Okay? So, yan yung idea ni at some point ni Watson. And meron din tayo dito kang B.F. Skinner was an American psychologist like Watson. Behaviorist din siya. Nahati kasi yung mga psychologist guys. Meron tayong humanistic, humanistic behaviorist, behaviorism. Sila yung mga about behavior, humanistic. It's all about human survival na behavior, how we survive humanity. And meron din tayong psychoanalytic, katulad ng sa Freud. So yung mga behaviorist, no, yan yung mga asam point, merong mga behavior na natuturo at na nakikita, sila yung mga behaviorist. Yung psychoanalytic naman, it talks pa rin about behavior, pero yung mga behavior mo, nasa unconscious mind mo siya. Okay? And yung humanistic naman, approach, yun yung mga behavior natin to survive as a human. Yun yung nagagawa natin. Okay? And B.F. Skinner naman, like Skinner, uh, he concentrated on how behavior was affected by its consequences. So, yung kang kuan naman dito, kang um, if Skinner, Meaning daw, nagkakameron ka daw ng behavior kasi may consequences dyan. Meaning, maybe matalino ka or mabait ka kasi may reward ka or may punishment sa nangyari. So, ito yung idea ni Skinner. Meron itong rat at pag tinutuplok ng rat dito yung blue, may pagkain. Uh, palagi niya, uh, tsaka pag yung red, makukuryente siya dito sa metals. So, nangyari dito, na natuplok niyong, tinuplok yung rat ng blue, may lumas mga pagkain hanggang sa inulit-ulit yung gawain na yon yung behavior na pagtuplok na yon para may reward siya pagkain. At sa na tuplok niya rin yung red dot na kuryentihan siya. So, at sa dito na na-explain ni Skinner na at sa nagawa yun ng rat kasi nga may consequences sa actions niya. May reward dito. 
may pagkain dito sa blue at dito sa red naman may kuryente. So, yan ba sa life natin? No, gumagawa tayo ng mga behavior kasi nga may may meron tong reward, no, meron tong punishment ay hindi ko to gagawin. So, yan 'yun. Yan yung na-explain ni um, Skinner. Maslow, Rogers, and Humanism. Yun yung sinasabi ko na nahati yung mga theories sa ganitong aspect. So, um, the, objecti um, the objective to the pessimist and determinist, all action driven by unconscious of Freud. Um, the object, ayun, um, they disagree to Freud. Nasabi na dito, lahat daw ng, kang Freud kasi lahat daw na action natin is driven by unconscious. Yung mga bagay na at some point hindi, hindi natin alam. Uh, Ganon. So, they also dislike reductionist or simply nature or behaviorist. So, sabi, yung, sabi ng reductionist, no? parang nire-reduct yung, meaning nito reductionist kasi, kung ano yung mangyayari in the future, hindi yan pwedeng maging explanation kasi nga, nire-reduct mo eh. Sabi kasi ng simplifying nature, kung ano yung made ka na tao, yan ka, parang yung kadarwin ba, unggoy ka, ganyan, yan ka lang may explain Reductionist man yan. Yan din yung behaviorism niya. Kung ano yung behavior mo na nalabas mo, ikaw yan. So, ayaw nila yan. Ang kagandahan dito sa humanist kasi, no, at some point kasi, uh, parang functionalist, at some point, merong, merong, um, merong purpose yung lahat, at some point, baka magbago ka dyan, baka mayroon pang chance. No, optimistic kasi yon okay? So, humanism is a perspective within psychology that emphasizes the potential of for good. So, mayroon potential yung lahat ng tao. No, even though yan yung behavior, this is a potential. Yan yung idea, yung humanistic theorist. Two of the most well-known proponents of humanistic psychology are Abraham Maslow sa kanyang hierarchy of needs and Carl Rogers. Okay, sila yun na mga famous ng humanist. So, ito yung ka-Abraham Maslow. Ito yung about sa um, human needs. Meaning, example dito, um, Abraham Maslow tayo to explain bakit ba ginagawa, bakit ba ito yung ginagawa ng isang tao? Ano yung kung bali motives ng isang tao kung gid bakit niya to ginagawa. So sabi dito, first of hierarchy of needs ng isang tao is food. Ginagawa yan isang tao kasi nga gusto niyang kumain, um, uminom, shelter and warm. Next is to have security. Okay, gusto niya maging safety. Uh, may employment, may trabaho. Next is social. Pero siyang pamilya, friendship, intimacy, belonging, someone loves him. Um, in, um next dito, next na pyramid nito after this, parang pataas kasi to siya. No self esteem no self worth accomplishment uh, at some point self pride no malaman mo sarili mo na may ka may nakaya ka sa buhay may nagawa ka accomplishment at at, at ito pag nagawa mo na yang lahat no na satisfy ka na diyan bonus na lang to kumbaga yung inner fulfillment ng isang tao okay so sabi dito kung may kulang daw dito saan saan yung kulang diyan at some point hindi mo daw maattain yung self actualization mo as a human being yan yung isang aspect ng humanism okay so Carl Rogers was also an American psychologist who, who like Maslow, emphasized the potential for good that exists within all people. Roger used a therapeutic technique known as client-centered therapy is helping his clients deal with problematic issues that result in seeking therapy. So, yan yung ka Rogers. May mga sakit kasi yung tao sa kanya sa, at some point sa disorders. Eh. So, nakikita niya doon may mga changes naman. No? Human is yung idea ni Rogers. Okay? At nagka meron tayo guys ng revolution, um, cognitive revolution. Meaning, at some point talaga yung mga theory nagbabago. No, at some point ganito. And, ito kasi sila kasi ng mga theories ko nakikita nyo guys. They are most likely men. No, tama ba? Lalaki sila. At itong feminist psychology na, through the revolution of school of thought. So, may pagbabago ng new disciplinary perspective in linguistic neuroscience and computer emerging no parang may pagbabago may kumbaga may update ba sa knowledge din hindi lang din sa mga electronics sa knowledge din may mga update din kaya nga may mga journals na in-update may mga books nga ng mga second edition seventh edition kasi nga may kalangan i-update so nung nangyari dyan no so, di ba nakita natin mostly sa mga theories sa mga lalaki so ito na yan nagka na ng feminist psychology so ano yung view baka kasi yung psychologist kasi mga lalaki man yun sila baka yan yung view ng lalaki What if what about the view of the feminine naman feminist aspect ng psychology? Yan yung nakita ni Naomi Winston, okay? Stimulated a uh, feminist revolution in psychology by representing a critic of psychology as science, okay? Yan yung critic niya, okay? Meron din tayong multicultural psychology, no? It's all about hindi lang sa other culture kasi mostly kasi sila foreign. 
So, mayroon din, di, mayroon din tinatawag dito sa Pilipinas ngayon is psikolohiyang Pilipino, meaning Pilipino psychology. Meaning, yung Pilipino, meron tayong uh, ating psychology, meaning at ano yung behavior natin? Um, hospitable, kawanggawa, utang na loob. May mga, yan yung psychology ng Pilipino. Okay, marami ng uh, professor sa UP na nagkamero ng multicultural psychology, meaning a revolution of, of knowledge. Okay? And every person, uh, every nation, other, they have their own psychology. At meron din dito ang tinatawag na contemporary psychology, no? It's a diverse field as influence of historical perspective, okay? Meron din dito ditong biopsychology and evolutionary psychology. So, yung biopsychology, yan yung relationship ng bio, ng brains natin, or meaning yung biological aspect natin sa behavior natin, Okay? and sensation and perception okay so psychology nat ito yun may um is a relationship between our sensation and perception sa iba yung at some point iba daw yung nasi sense natin yun yung sensation sa perception at example um yung nakikita mo is um 6 yung nakikita mo pero sa kabilang dulo number 9 yung nakikita niya so at some point nagig nagkakaiba kasi tayo ng perception um, pero sa open times, iba yung, uh, yung nasi-sense natin, magkaparehas, pero yung perception natin nagkakaiba. Yan din yung isang aspect ng psychology. Okay? It, for example, that is not magic, di ba? Natitrick tayo at some point, yung sensation natin, iba, is, iba man to. Pero how it come to a point na iba yung napaperceive mo? Cognitive psychology na ban as an area of psychology that focuses on studying cognition, how we think, our thoughts, and relationship to our experience of action. Meaning dito, example dito ha, um, a relationship to our experiences and our action. Example, may isang criminal, no? ba? sometimes, ang nag interview dyan mga psychologists. So, ito yung mga tanong kal kal um, kal kalimitan ng mga cognitive psychologists, okay? Bakit mo nagawa yun? Ano yung, ano yung naisip mo before na ginawa mo yun? It's, it talks about cognitive psychology. At meron din dito na tawag ng branches ng psychology na developmental psychology. So, ito pala sila, mga branches to ng psychology, ha? Okay? So, it is a scientific study of development of across lifespan, meaning, development ng isang tao from, um, from infancy to maturity to puberty to adulthood up to later life or katandaan na. And personality psychology focuses on pattern of thoughts and behavior that makes individual unique. So, pattern siya, marami siyang, marami na siya, maraming behavior. Example, palaging pupunta yung taong yan sa ganitong lugar, I meaning, gusto niya yung lugar na yan, it's her personality. Yung taong to, palaging nag, nagaganito, yun yung personality niya. Yan, yan yung isang branch ng psychology that talks about that. Isa din sa mga aspect na yan, yung personality traits, meaning measuring our traits, determining how these traits interact in a particular context, uh, how our person will behave in a given situation. The example, low score, ito yun, openness. No, example, O. Example, parang ganito guys, ocean. Okay? Di ba sabi ko nga, di ba parang dagat, di ba may iceberg dun. So, example, ocean, openness. So, pag high score ka, curious ka, interesado ka, independent, low score mo, ito, consciousness, hardworking, dependable, high score yan, positive siya, negative, careless, okay? Yan yung kumbaga. Extrovert, no, sociable, no outgoing baka warm baka or quiet ka ba Acri um agri agri agreeableness agreeableness helpful ka ba trustworthy or in negative aspects low score ka or negative minded ka okay so yan yun example and next neurotism tendency towards unstable emotion calm ka ba anxious okay at meron din dito ang aspects or branch ng ang um, branch ng um Psychology na social psychology. So, social psychology focus on how we interact or relate with others. So, social siya. Okay? It's about social society. Or social be Social um, peers. Industrial organizational psychology. So, ito yung mga napag... Um, it's a subfield of psychology that applies psychology theories, principles, and research findings in industrial and organizational settings. So, kita mo yung mga HR guys, yung human and uh, human resource, yung mga nag interview sa nag-apply ng trabaho. Dito sila belong at open times, ito yung dito sila magaling. Okay, it may mga times na may may, may masteral na ganito. Industrial and organizational psychology. No, is a masteral degree, meaning mastering siya pa how Paano nila nakikita yung isang tao? Sa mga kumpanya sila na aspects, okay? Meron dito yung health psychology, no? It's um 
yung mga yung tawag sila kanila biopsycho biopsychologists meaning yung biology natin inisadihan nila okay example di diyan an uh, example pag in love yung isang tao it's it's all about feeling it's all about psychology uh, ano yung biological um biological equivalent niyan meaning baka pag nakikita mo yung taong yan tumitibok yung puso mo yung heartbeat mo yung high blood pre- blood pressure mo di ba may relate, related part yung biology natin sa psychology natin okay ganun So, sabi dito, ito yung biopsychosocial model na hindi lang daw biology natin, meaning takbo ng dugo natin, tibok ng damdamin, mind natin. Kasali din yan yung thoughts natin, okay? At kasali din yan yung environment natin, ito yung social aspects. Sports din, an exercise psychology. No? Um, ano yung, it's talk about um, per, sports performance, including motivation, performance, no? Or mental and emotional well-being ng mga athletes, especially in sports. Mayroon natin itong clinical psychology, no, in an area of psychology that focus on diagnosis or treatment of psychological disorder. So, since nasa clinic sila, sila yung may mga disorder talaga, related sila dyan. Clinical psychology is the real psychology on focus on. Okay, ganun. So, ito, thoughts, no, thoughts, behavior sum, sums up as one in psychology. Forensic psychology naman is a branch of psychology that deals questions of psychology as rise in context of justice system. Example, may mga criminal. Yung mga nag-assist dyan often times sa mga crimes talaga, yung mga legit na mga doctor of psychology na nalalaman natin yung isang tao pag nagloloko ba, hindi ba yung testimony ba niya. Example, no? Kinoconsult sila in terms of yung state of mind ba, no? Competent ba yung con- person's competency of trial, no? mindset niya, kung hindi ba okay ba yung mind, hindi ba depressed, okay? May mga gano'n, no? Kung kosto din ng bata, no? Sila yung tinitest, okay ba tong taong to? Na lagyan siya ng kosto din ng isang bata, gano'n. Consult of treatment recommendation, nirecommend mo na pwede nang palay- palayain yung taong to, magaling na siya. May mga gano'n yung mga aspect ng forensic psychology, okay? So, ano yung mga career? Career in psychology. Ano yung mga career na malapit na malapit sa psychology, Okay? So, ito yun, mga university, hospitals, yun, business, non-profit, medical. Tignan natin yung mga course na related dito. So, first course dito is mid and top is executive administrator. So, ito yung mga trabaho mo kung no, nakapagtapos ka ng psychology. Okay? So, uh, sa university, na employment sa university, hospital services, business, non-profit. Okay, so, university, yung mga um, researcher, Um, teacher, ganun, teacher of psychology, instructor, professors, business naman, yun yung industrial psychology, yun yung mga HR, uh, educational institution, medical, yun yung biopsychologist, independent practice, or yung may mga clinic, okay? First ranking, magiging executive, gather, administrator, top level, sales, and social work, of course. Okay, top three siya, other management position, human resource, administrative position, insurance, real estate, Okay? Marketing, healthcare, finance. Sila yung mga, um, yan yung mga top talaga ng mga position mo na related psychology, okay? Malaki yung sildo dyan, of course. At uh, ito yung mga review questions natin sa lesson 1. Let's go naman sa psychological research. Kasi nga, paano siya naging school of thought? Kasi nga, it talks about research. Lahat po ng binabasa natin ngayon, alaman natin, it's all about research, okay? Hindi siya haka-haka lang. Kasi nga, psychology, it's not about haka or yung mga hula-hula lang, mga ganun. Nanggaling to lahat sa research. Ang psychology, hindi siya mga hula-hula. Yung mga hula-hula, galing mo yan sa mga sudo, sudo psychology. Meaning, yung mga hula-hula lang, hindi yan, hindi po ganun yung psychology. Psychology po came up from research, came up from observation, experimentation, ganun. So, why research is important? So, Scientific research is critical tool for successfully navigating our complex world. Without it, we would be forced to solely intuition. So, parang haka lang. It depends on your intuition. By luck lang. Ganon, ganyan. So, use of research information. So, facts are observable realities and opinions are personal judgment, conclusion or attitudes that may be, not be accurate. So, may open times, may, yung facts kasi, no, meaning talaga, it, con- it is confirmed. No? Okay, so, So, ito yung process po ng scientific research. No? Depende sa depende, depende sa'yo. Sometimes kasi, um, empirical observation, may observation ka, inductive reasoning. No? So, 
yung yung deductive reasoning no yan yung hypothesis ka muna first no hypothesis hanggang sa research mo nagka meron ng totoong resulta well yung inductive reasoning naman research mo na una na hanggang napunta sa hypothesis yan yun okay so depende sa iyo ano yung choice mo kung gusto mo bang uh, magbasa ng ito kasi empirical observation nagre-review ka muna ng related articles ganon no ito yung hypothesis naman yung yung naghakahaka ka muna hanggang sa yung hakahaka mo nagresearch ka okay yan yung depende sa iyo may other researchers iba yung um, concept nila yung iba inuuna yung hypothesis yung iba inuuna yung review literature literature so psychological research relies on both inductive and reasoning and uh, it relies both talaga okay may iba kasi may sometimes kasi kung Sometimes kasi kung lack of empirical observations, you must rely on the um, hypothesis. Okay? So, research tayo na theory. Hanggang sa naging theory na siya. So, theory is a well-known, uh, well-developed set of ideas that propose an explanation for observed phenomena. Example, um, ang dami natin theory. No? Ang dami natin theory. Yan yung theory. Example, theory of... Um, yun yung kan Actually, yung, yung law, alam mo yung mga Newton law, mga ganun. Before nag before siya naging theory no ah uh, before siya naging law rather theory muna siya okay but some point naman yung theory marami naman tayong theory na reliable talaga na at some point talaga no um example no kung maghiwala yung isang pamilya hypothesis to ah um the greater um, maghiwala yung isang pamilya the greater the possibility na yung isang bata as magkaka mayroon ng hated or disorder, ganon, or mapariwara. But, pagka pwede maging theory yan, okay? Ganon. So, hypothesis naman is a testable prediction. Prediction natin yan about how the world will behave in our, if our idea is correct. And often, worded to us even then statement. If I study all night, I will get a passing grade. Okay, ganon. So, theory yan. Ay, hypothesis. So, ito na yon Theory. Use of theory or to form hypothesis. Sometimes non, sometimes nagakaiba. Sometimes hypothesis ka muna, na-relate mo sa theory. So, ito yun. Mag uh, after mo na nakadesign na hypothesis, mag-design ka ng test, mag-design ka ng study or experiment, no? Hangga maging research na siya. For form a research or experiment, mag observation and create or modify a theory. Cycle lang yan siya. Yung iba, observation muna, nag nagkamap ng theory, iba, research muna, or review the literature. Depende sa'yo kung saan ka manageable sa iyo, okay? So also, no, a scientific hypothesis is also falsified, meaning hindi siya incorrect siya, okay? Meaning um pinaral mo na yung research mo, hindi siya totoo. Pwede yung maging ganun. Approaches to research naman, clinical or case study, meron tayong when they focus on one person, okay? Case study nga. Okay? And generalizing refers to the ability to apply findings over the of a particular research project to a larger segments, so example. Example, uh, ah, ito na part na to. Um, yung research namin dito is at some point dito, um, itong example, Maranao. No? Maranao dito. Siguro yung facts dito sa Maranao, yung Muslim, hindi kayo kumakain dito ng meat. Okay, yun pork. Okay, yan yung generalizing. Kasi nga, um, Muslim area. Example lang yan. This type of observation is called naturalistic observation, observing behavior in its natural setting. Meron itong tinatawag na observer bias. Another potential problem is may mga times po na nababias yun. Generally, people act sometimes po yung um, pag sa study na, pag conscious yung isang tao na research yan, no nagiging bias, binabago yung salita. Meron tayong survey. Okay, it's all about questionnaire, no? Interview mo. And in terms of that, of, of course, meron itong tinatawag sa research kasi reliability. Example, isang million yung isang tao. Yung taong tao sa Pilipinas, hindi mo pwede sabihin na ang mga Pilipino ay bobo. Hindi pwede. No, isang million kaya yan. At yung research mo lang, sampo, hindi pwede yan. So, sa population, yung example, population, one million, kailangan kang kumuha dyan ng mga valid sample. No, meron, meron yang number ng mga, meron yang um, number ang mga statisticians, no, na example, sa isang million or sa isang libo, Meron sila tinatawag dyan na reliable sample size. Okay, so, meron yan sa, meron yan dyan. So, archival research naman. So, yung archival research naman, 
no? Use existing records to answer various cases. So, yung ginagawa lang ng archival research, no? Nagre-resist lang sila. At yung research kinocompile nila. Meron din yung number kung gano karaming research ang valid para masabi natin yung archival research mo ay reliable. Okay, so nagre-resist lang sila ng mga records na yung mga data na interesting na related sa hypothesis na nilang nasabi nila. Okay? Meron din tinatawag na longitudinal um, longitudinal longitudinal research and cross-sectional research no longitudinal research is a research designed in which data gathering is administered repeatedly so paulit-ulit period of time for example no um yung example mo dito no we may survey a group of individuals about their dietary habits at age of 20 hanggang sa umabot ng 30 hanggang sa umabot ng 40 so long it should the word long long period of time ka nag-research sa mga taong yan. No, so, sa mga itong cross-sectional research, researcher compares multiple segments of population at the same time. So, example dito, um, by tribe, by by tribo, ganon. No, cross-sectional. You cross the section. Okay, ganon. So, correlation din. So, yung correlation, meaning may correlation yung research mo. So, correlation means that there is a relationship between two or more variables so, such as ice cream consumption and crime. So, but this relationship does not necessarily imply cause and effect. So, example dito, may, may correlation ba yung pagkain mo ng ice cream sa paggawa mo ng krimen? Hindi. Maybe yung, uh, maybe yung mga variables natin na may correlation. Example, um, sa pagtulog mo or sa diet mo, may relationship sa, sa nutrition mo. Maybe, pag hindi mabuti yung pagtulog mo, yan yung variable. Pag hindi mabuti yung pagtulog mo, Maybe yung nutrition mo, mapupuyat ka, papayat ka, ganun, or magkakasakit ka. At yan yung mga variables natin, no, na may correlation at some point. Pero still, it needs a test. Okay, so, correlation coefficient is a number from negative 1 to positive 1 that indicates the strength and direction of the relationship between variables. So, malalaman natin to if we conduct a research na pag itinitest na natin siya sa mga um, data testing software, no, may lalabas na ganito, may ito din. No, so positive correlations means that, no, is meaning itong positive, no, meaning hindi negative, meaning that the, the variables move into the same direction. So, yan yun. So, negative, negative correlation means variables move into opposite direction. Example yung variables mo, uh, example yung hypothesis mo, kung kakain ka ng ice cream, magiging mamamatay tao ka. Ah, ang layo lang, ba? But anyways, yan yung um, hindi siya correlation at yung variables niya. Anyway, hindi siya good example. Pero malalaman rin na negative correlation siya. Meaning, yung variable na yan, opposite sides talaga yan. Wala siyang correlation at some point. Nung baka yung mangyari pa dyan sa correlation coefficients natin, negative yung lalabas sa ating database ng result ng research. So, yan yung mga often times. Example yan. So, maybe, kung yung mga example, are, ang variables natin, hours of sleep, yung oras ng pagtulog mo, and in relation to grado mo, example, estudyante ka, okay? Example, yung mga kinununan mo ng data, mga estudyante, tinatanong mo, ano ba, um, ilang oras ka ba natutulog? No, example, um, tinanong mo yung mga, example, yung, meron kang control group, tsaka experimental group. Okay, may mga ganun. Example, yung grupo na tinanong mo, sila yung mga Dean's Lister. Yung mga tinanungan mo, other mo na tinanungan, sila yung mga hindi. Nalaman mo dun sa research mo, ah, ito pala mga Dean's Lister. Sa, pag, sa, mga, sa variables na pagtulo, tsaka sa grado, ito pala mga Dean's Lister, maliit pala yung oras na pagtulog nila kasi nag study sila. Wa ito mga hindi Dean's Lister, yung variables na pagtulog, ang, ang laki ng oras na pagtulog nila. So, yan yung at some point ng mga variables na dapat nating tignan in terms of our research, Okay. Um, correlation does not indicate causation. So, hindi pwede, hindi porket, hindi rin porket may correlation yung isang bagay. Yung cost, um, yung, yung effect niyan, yan yung cost. Kasi sa research kasi, ang daming factors kasi to look at on. Ang daming variables, no? Ang daming variables natin. Example, yung oras ng pagtulog mo, hindi, hindi lang yan yung variables or, or causation na titignan natin na bakit malid yung grado mo. Example, estudyante ka, ma Palagi ka natutulog, maliit yung grado mo, baka, baka talaga slow learner ka. At some point, baka ganun. Baka naman talaga 
marami ka ng problema, ang daming variables, and it doesn't mean, even though may correlation yung isang research mo, no, it does not indicate causation. Sometimes sa mga research kasi, guys, sa baba nun, sinasabi doon ng mga researchers, no, na itong, itong variables ko lang, ito, itong aspects lang na variables ang tinignan ko, hindi ko nang inistudyan yung iba. Sometimes kasi nag-disclaim yung mga researchers ganun, para hindi sila bias, okay? Kasi, um, Unlike, unlike if you're talking about longitudinal research, no? Okay? Or meaning yung mga research na lang na pang matagalan, no? Longitudinal research. Maka sabihin natin na yung variables na tinignan nila is uh, comprehensive, no? But in terms of us, no term papers, no? Yung research natin, uh, in a period of time lang naman. And mind this, a research, no? Meron siyang period of time lang, no? Hindi siya forever. So, yung variables mo lang, limited lang din. Okay? So, a confounding variable is actually causing the systematic movement in our variable interest. So, meron dito itong illus illusory correlations, no? Or false correlations occurs when people believe that relationship exists between two things with no such relationship exists. So, may mga times din na ganyan. Yung correlations nyo, um, parang pinapaniwalaan mo na may correlation yung bagay na yan. Example, no? Example dito. Pagbilog ang buwan, no? yung mga tao daw, iba daw mag-behave, well, may mga ganun na correlation, pero wala siyang empirical evidence. No? Wala siyang empirical evidence. But, but ito guys, no? um, I question kasi this, no? Pag, may, may research kasi ganun sa sabi guys, no? na, um, na yung kuan daw, yung pagbilog daw yung buwan, no? yung tao daw, nababaliw. Kasi ga, yung related kasi dyan, The moon controls the tides. We know that. No? The controls the waters. Sabi dun sa research niya, at some point, the, may relation daw yung, nakocontrol daw yung, ng moon, yung mind daw natin, kasi may tubig sa utak natin. No? Anyways, that's an ad. But then, illusory, illusory correlations siya. No? Huwag natin paniwalaan yung mga correlations na, at some point, wala namang relationship. It may correlate at some point, no? but it's not a good sign of relationship between two, two variables. No, sometimes gin guys, ito kasi yung malala guys, dapat kasi sa pagpili mo ng hypothesis mo, dapat siya at some point talaga, parang magkakamiran talaga yan ng resulta. Okay? So sometimes then kaya gin sinabi ko, sometimes din, huwag ka lang, huwag ka lang hypothesis diretso. Dapat din maghanap ka ng, open times kasi, to make it safe, no, para mag-research ka, para safe yung research mo, yung first na gagawin mo, review re related literature. Magbasa ka ng mga libro. Mag-research ka. No, ng mga libro. Okay? Kasi pag nagpamata ka lang ng hypothesis mo, baka nagkanda ka ng research, walang resulta. Pero research din naman siya, kahit walang resulta. Pero iba yung, iba yung ma-impact yung research mo kasi nga sa pagpili mo ng variable, no, may direction ka. Okay? Mag, paano ka magkakamero ng direction? Dapat ka mag-review ng literature. Magbasa ka ng other researches bago ka mag-conduct ng hypothesis sa mind mo. Okay? Para hindi, para siya safe. So, meron din tinatawag na experimental hypothesis or conducting, it's all about conducting. Um, a researcher must have a specific hypothesis to be tested. Okay, so may ganon. So, um, is example ito na no? seeing behavior like this. Uh, right after your child watches it by on television. No? Example dito. Sabi dito, parang ganito ba? Parang yung variable na nyo. Yun daw mga violenting movie. Nakaka, at some point daw, nakaka-cause daw siya ng change of behavior. Parang ganun, meron siyang, itest mo yan. No, maybe, pa sa pag-test mo, panoorin mo yung bata, pa panoorin mo yung bata ng violente, at titignan mo siya ano yung magiging, magiging resulta ng behavior niya pag may same situation na mangyari. No, do a test. And then, design experiment, uh, design, mag-experiment ka na. Design experiment. So, the experimental group gets experimental manipulation. That is, a treatment or variable being tested in case violent um, violent TV no and control group does not no so yan yun yung kung experimental group mo sila lang sila lang yung no nilalagyan mo ng variable diyan mo lang yung tinetest yung variable example um yung variable mo um pagtulog no yung pagtulog mo tsaka um yung grado yung experimental mo, group mo dyan, yung mga estudyante. Maybe yung mga estudyante na mga dean's lister. Kasi nga, nire-relate mo yung oras ng pagtulog sa gradong nakukuha mo. At yung mga control group mo, maybe hindi sila mga estudyante, wala lang. 
hindi mo siya, hindi man sila part ng experiment mo, okay? So, meron tayong operational definition, no? It's a description of how we will measure our variables. Experimental bias refers to possibility of research. May bias na nangyari. So, single blind study, meaning one group of participants are unaware to which group they are in. Double blind study, the research and the participants are blind. So, may times na ganito, dapat hindi, may mga times na ganito kasi nga managkakameron kasi ng experimental bias. Sometimes kasi ito yung iniiwasan sa research bias. So, may times na hindi mo ipaalam sa isang tao na subjects pala sa ng research. Pero ngayon, subject na siya for um, ethics, no, ethical concerns. Kasi nga, dapat mong ipaalam sa isang tao na subject sa ng research mo. Kasi nga, ipapublic mo yan eh. No, so, at some point na, hindi na siya applicable yung hindi mo ipagpaalam, yung parang prank lang yung dating, parang ganyan. Ipagpaalam mo talaga, di ba? Example, pag nakikita mo yung mga prank or social social experiments, sa huli niyan, tinut, tinut, um, tinutuloy yung camera. O, example, uh, example niyan, oy, nahuli ka namin, o pinrank ka namin, kasi nga, bawal siya pag hindi mo ipagpaalam talaga. Or at some point, unethical, kumbaga. No? So, placebo effect, no? Of course, when people expectation or beliefs influence determines. Example. In other words, simply expecting something to happen can actually make make it happen. Example. Sa research mo, nag-expect ka, may mangyayari talaga dito. At some point, malaki yung tendency na may mangyayari sa research mo na positive. At ito yung tinatawag natin na independent and dependent variables. Kailangan natin to sa research. Kasi nga, it, yung variables natin, no? Ito yung test natin. At kung yung variables natin hindi siya akma or pangit siya kumbaga pagka-design mo, no, ah, yung research mo, hindi siya mag-lead into that perfect direction na gusto mo. Okay, so, sometimes your, um, example, no, independent variable mo, type of television, example, no, yung dependent variable, or yung dependent variable, yung nakadepende. Okay, or your, your effect, your effect, yung independent variable mo naman, yung cause, meaning, example, Uh, mag-theorize ka, yung mga batang violente, ba, yan yung dependent variable mo. Baka naman, palagi silang nanonood ng mga violente movie. O, yan yung independent variable mo. So, yung mag-detain ka na ngayon sa variables mo, yung independent variable mo, ay, yung, independ uh, yung violent movies pala, o yung mga games na ganyan, pwede siya maka sa dependent variable mo na behavior ng bata. O, example lang. Actually, totoo na yan ngayon, guys. May mga research na ganun. Example, MTRCB, di ba? MTRCB, this, channel, um, this program is may mga rated speech, may mga ganun. Kasi nga, research na siya. Okay? Um, it is already concluded. So, example dito, no, hypothesis natin, violent television, no? Nakadepende yung, um, nakadepende yung kuan. In other words, dependent variable depends on independent. So, nakadepende yung behavior ng bata sa tinitignan niyang mga movies, ganun, ganun, ganyan. Okay? So, Random sample. So, yung random sample natin, no, kasi malaki yung population, eh, magasto na siguro. Sabi ko nga, meron dyang ratio dyan na at sample na legit na, na pwede mo siyang testing. Example, maybe sa 1,000, okay na yung um, 100. So, actually, in quantitative research kasi, 100 out of maybe 1,000 is considered as um, minimal, minimal valid. Pero depende pa yan, nagkakalaki man yung population, no? Okay? So, random assignments, all participants have equal chance, no? Interpreting experience findings, interpret mo na siya. Next, nire-report mo na, report research, no? So, American um, Psychological um, EPA publishes an annual detailing how to write a paper. So, ito yung EPA. So, yung EPA mo, how to write your research. Nakikita mo yung mga EPA, guys, na example. Potente 2020. Sinabi niya ganito. So, yan yung kung paano isulat yung research in a way that academic and reliable. Kasi baka hakahakang mo lang yan, baka hindi yan siya supported ng mga other research. So, yung EPA, isa lang to sa mga, um, isa lang to sa mga journals, no? isa lang to sa mga research organizations na um, nagsiset ng standard paano magsulat ng research. MPA, marami yan. EPA, MPA, marami yan sila. No? So, American Psychological Association. Sila yung, kumbaga, pattern mo kung paano ka magsulat ng research. Marami namang format, actually, hindi lang EPA. So, minuto yung reliability and validity. So, reliable um, refers to ability to, co to consistent produce a given result in context. So, reliable siya. No? So, meaning yung um, 
consistent siya. No? Meaning, reliable siya kasi hindi lang siya sa other, hindi lang siya sa isang aspect ng lugar or other people. No? Example, yung gender, isang variable mo yan. Meaning, yung gender mo, hindi lang siya sa pang babae. Pwede siya sa panalaki. Reliable yan, ganyan. Okay? And yung other nga researches, sinasali na yung mga bakla, tomboy, para malaman nila na yung research nila reliable, meaning consistent siya. Sometimes kasi yung research ay sa pang lalaki lang to, pang babae lang to. Reliable yung isang research mo pag sa hindi, example, pag in the context of gender, okay? Pag sa lahat ng gender, okay siya, pasok siya, okay siya. So, yung validity naman, no? Yung validity, meaning to the extent, no, in a given measurement tool, measures accurate. Example, nag-measure ka ng ganyan, no, hindi pwede na nag-measure ka ng katalinuhan, iba yung na-measures mo. No, so, example, na-measure ka ng katalinuhan, katalino, baka yung measures mo dyan, um, itsura, hindi pwede yan. Hindi ka pwede mag-measure na matalino yung isang tao kasi guapo. Hindi pwede yan. Baka yung gawin mong variable, matalino yung isang tao kasi malaki yung grado niya, yung achievement niya, pwede ganun yung variable mo. And that is that is a test of validity in research. Meaning, measure mo yung gusto mong i-measure, no, that at some point, accurate. No? Meaning, yan yung, yan yung measure mo, yung variable mo dyan, angkop. Okay? O, example, validity. Ganun. Uh, research involving human participants, no? Uh, meron yung mga ethical, no? Kailangan ka ng consent, no? Hindi pwede yung deception, sa hindi mo pwede i-deceive yung kuan mo. At asang point din, meron dito yung tinatawag na research involving animals, no? So, example sa Amerika, no? Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee. So, sila yung nag-detest kung yung pag-research mo ba, no? Angkop ba? No? Example, di ba may mga times na dinadisect yung pusa, no? Um, ginagamit yung uh, uh, mouse sa research. Actually, kumukuha pa sila ng permission, no? Sa mga board or committee, na gamitin nila yung mga pusa para makapag-conduct sila ng research, no? Informal consent, no? May mga ganon. Kasi pag wala yan, no? Pag wala yung mga ganon, no? Na example dito kang beef skinner, yung pusa ng research niya. Example yung ganon, unethical siya. No, hindi pwede yung, pwede yung research mo ma, ma, ma consider siya na okay, li, um, valid naman, Valid nga yung research mo, reliable nga, pero unethical naman, hindi rin yan gagamitin. Kasi nga, it is not reprodu reproducible. No, yung authority, pagbabawalan kang i-reproduce yan. Ano yung ibig sabihin mo yung i-produce? Sometimes kasi yung research na papublish yan, no? um, ginagawa siyang libro, na kawawa ka. Kasi unethical yung research mo, eh. kahit pag ano yan kaganda, unethical naman. So, dapat yan dumaan pa rin sa ethical concerns, okay? So, yun lang nagtatapos ang ating klase. Okay? So, I hope guys we learn a, a lot in our class.